Gretchen Spreitzer. I'm a faculty member at the Ross School of Business and a core faculty member of the Center for Positive Organizations. And today I'm gonna to share with you some of my work around energy management, because we know in difficult times like this that we can feel very depleted. We can feel that we're coping or we're surviving rather than actually thriving through these difficult times. So I'm gonna share with you some things about what energy management is and why you should care about it and share with you a tool that might be helpful to you as you're trying to better manage your energy so that you can be thriving rather than surviving or coping. So what is energy management? Well, it's specific practices that you can use in your everyday life to increase the probability that you have good energy or vitality. Vitality we know is one of the two key dimensions of thriving at work with the other being learning and growing and developing. So there's three um, core practices around energy management. The first, these are, by the way, these are things that you probably have some familiarity with because they're all within your control. So first, sleep. We know sleep can be disrupted in challenging, stressful times, but we should really try to keep a sleep routine, trying to go to bed around the same time, get up around the same time, and shoot for around seven to eight hours of sleep. Second, hydration and nutrition, both really important. Um, so uh, keep uh, fresh water nearby, be sipping it throughout the day. And while we might be tempted to eat a lot of comfort foods during these difficult times, it's a time to also be thinking about maybe we have more time. We can eat more healthily and cook from scratch more healthy meals. And then third is about movement. Um, now that the weather's getting nicer here in Michigan, it's a little easier for us to get outside. Um, but get out, take a walk. Maybe it's with a friend and neighbor, keeping that physical distance, of course. Maybe it's taking your dog for a walk or borrowing a dog if you don't have one of your own. So those are three core principles of energy management. Now let me share with you a quick tool that we've developed at the Center for Positive Organizations uh, with Tracy Grant to better help you manage your energy. And basically with this tool, we ask people to rate their energy across each hour of the day. So for example, if I get up at 7 a.m. and I'm eating breakfast, I would write down 7 a.m. eating breakfast and my energy level on a scale from one to 10, maybe I'm just getting going as a five. At 8 a.m. I'm gonna rate my energy again on a scale from one to 10, maybe I'm doing email now and my energy's gone up a little bit. At the end of the day, then we ask people to create what we call an energy profile, where they're plotting what their energy looks like over the course of the day. So along the bottom, you've got your, the time of day. On the y-axis, we have what your energy level is, and you can begin to see where some of the peaks and valleys are, the highs and lows. What are the kind of things I'm doing most often when I've got low energy? Maybe that's when I'm doing something very routine or boring. Um, what are the peaks? What are the kind of things I'm doing when my energy level is very high? Maybe I'm learning that those are times where I'm interacting with other people. So it's a tool that can help you understand the highs and lows of your energy management and help you increase those times when your energy is high, the kind of things that are enabling that to happen, and find ways to mitigate or reduce those activities that create depletion or low energy. So I hope this tool is helpful to you as you're trying to best manage your energy during these difficult times so that you also can thrive or be more likely to thrive rather than cope or survive in these difficult situations.